All right. Hey, guys. My name is Brian Barney. I got you here. And in the last episode, we, uh, well, just some more in optional things. So we've got more to do. And anyway, welcome back, folks, one and all, to Final Fantasy V. So pretty much, I don't remember if we've collected all the uh, things. Might have to take a pause break real quick. And it'll just be real quick. The captain dro the captain's upstairs. Take a load off the leg up. Huh? You look if you look real close, you're a fetching lass, Lena. Oh, brother. We're only helping you cause the captain ordered it, ordered. So don't be getting the wrong idea. Captain, I'm a pervert and I suck. So dreamy. Sorry, there's nothing left. Those pirates drank everything in the house. Oh, brother, they did? <laughs> oh, that's not good. And lucky for us, there's more to be had. Those pirates, I mean, that pirate boss went upstairs. Like I said, that pirate boss. I'm not looking at anything, you perv. Get your mind out of the gutter. I like how in this version you can't get up to the piano, but in the other versions you could. All right. If you hear that ding, then it's time for me to. I'll be. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just taking a quick pause break. All right. So I'm back. And, um, oh, hello. Um, so, yeah, I've been thinking about this for a minute here. I saw my cat today. I haven't seen her about, like, four or five days. Like, no, no, why would you wait to do that? She's got plenty of food, water, a place to go to the bathroom. Chicken last. She's lasted a lot tougher than that. I've been with her through... Maybe it's because I've been with her for so much of my life. And um, we might have had our disagreements. Minor ones, but, you know. They say something about the longer you are away from them, they don't do anything. I wonder if you're supposed to go do this. Why don't you have a seat, big boy? Then just keep your eyes on me. Tee uh, okay. I thought something was gonna happen there. That's why I did. That's why I saved Steve. What a waste of a save Steve. Mmm, for you, honey. You got it. Okay, something special. See, once again. Whoa. Oh, we can get up there now. Okay. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to do this. It doesn't really matter what you do because it's just complete random silliness. Piano skills leveled up. It doesn't really mean anything. And this is the only game in history has ever had that. I mean, you probably could play piano, play piano in some of the games, but nothing like this. Oh. Oh, okay. So, you know. Anyway, so, well, you know, the thing is, there was this lady who spent like three weeks away from her cat. I haven't spent not even a week with my cat. Maybe about... Almost a week. 
And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. I'm the only. I mean, we've had other visitors like uh, people she's known before. Me, I'm mainly over there quite a bit. I don't know. Maybe it's because they were having somebody else always watch her or something, and maybe I mean the cat, this other one anyway, this owner. That's maybe that's why they were having so much trouble. I don't know. I just know with mine, I could leave her alone for like so many days. Because, I mean, and she's got one big bowl. The only cat that I know, there's probably other ones. One bowl of food that lasts her the entire month. She has not gained weight at all. In fact, her weight space stays pretty much nonchalant. It doesn't get all wavy like she just lost weight or something like Scrapper did. But my cat sometimes does eat up her food, but it doesn't take her like one day. Oh no. And we used to give them in smaller bowls. Well, I don't even remember when I first started giving her a bowl, big bowl of uh, cat food, but I do know that when I think about it, you know, it, it's crazy to think this. What? Well, yeah. And, and she knows me. But if I bring her over here, where I'm at, she doesn't like it. I mean, she won't have nothing to do with me. Okay. Fair enough. You know, as soon as I get her away from all this stuff, she's fine and happy as a camper. Okay, all right, whatever. Now, this thing here is a prelude to something else. Yeah, this thing I started glitching out. Hold on, I'll go check on him. <clears throat> yeah, check this out. No other game has ever done this that I know of. As well. I was just, Arts! What is this? What have you got that look for? That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Uh, nothing. I didn't see anything. It must have been a trick of the light or something. Over, crying out loud. You're missing the old part because that's what it was in the original. Shove over and let me see. And of course, it gets a love thing. Gray Caesar's ghost. Just God, you sure haven't felt that like. Sure haven't felt like that in this spell. What in the world are you two going on about? <clears throat> oh, oh, I slept. I mean, slept like a babe, I did. That's not pirate talk. What are you two gawking at? Get a hold of yourselves. Fun fact, two things. In the original... She actually goes in, and this is what's actually supposed to happen. And she's supposed to get love struck. And this is what's supposed to normally happen anyway, but still. And then, uh, I need a little time to myself, so show off, you. And, of course, she shuts the door. And now we can't get in. It's locked. So, if you needed to get in there, you should have done it beforehand because, <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter when you do this, it's just going to happen like natural. So, you know. Now, in this episode, we're actually going to go. We're not going to do any grinding because we don't need to. Not for any reason whatsoever. 
Oh, ho, trying to give me the slip, I think not. No. Sorry, that happened so quickly. So, anyway, all you missed was me just going out and, and going to the screen. But anyway, so, you could level up, but there is literally no point until I go through something over here. So, in this episode, we're actually going to continue on the main storyline. We're supposed to go back there anyway, but you could go ahead and get it out of the way. That's the fun, fun is back about that as well. And uh, I'll tell you why later on, why they all fall in love. But I tell you, I'm going to let the game spoil it for you. Wind Shrine. Now, this is the first of, uh, I think there's like, I don't know how many uh, shrines there actually is in this game. I haven't really made it too far, but I've made it far enough. Anyway. You don't have to go down here at all. You could actually bypass this and go on up. But it's important that you go down here. As a matter of fact, you can go down here. Um, even afterwards, but anyway, Prince of Luna, what has happened? What's going to matter? And here's something that's ironic about this dude. Uh, there's another dude somewhere else, but they may not be the same guy anyway. The wind suddenly stopped and now there are monsters in the shrine. What about Father? The king went up to the top floor. He has yet to return. Something must have happened to him. The crystals up to the up on the top floor, right? Won't hurt you. Won't hurt to go up. <clears throat> the crystals on the top floor. On the top floor, right? Won't hurt. You, won't hurt to go up and take a look. Sorry, I gave the wrong voice. Ferris, come on. That name should be a dead giveaway, but it's not. At least not two of the characters here, but we'll, I'll, we'll let you tell it later. King Tycoon went up to the top floor to check on the crystal, but... But what? When those monsters overran the shrine, we fled to this room and haven't been able to leave. So... The crystal amplification machine suddenly stopped responding. That's another clue for later. The crystal upstairs is controlled by a machine that amplifies its power. Another clue for later. Okay. Drink this water to restore your energy. Well, I'm going to get into that in a minute here about what it does. Princess, please take these with you. Received five potions. Yes, we want to do that. We don't have to do it right now, but it would be it would have many things beneficial. M HP and MP restored, and all status for elements removed. Chaos allies revive. Now that's a good idea to take advantage of this if you uh, start grinding. Which uh, there's going to be a prudent point to do that. Right now is not, so we're going to start escaping battles because of reasons because of the way this game works. Unlike another game, which kind of like this game, but differently. We'll go over that game later. And by later when I start to play that game. So just keep that guy in mind. For a little bit later. Now, once again, you could go out, but don't bother at this point. Second floor. A cane tent. <coughs> it doesn't look like a good cough. Anyway. Uh, 
It should have gone to the there. Okay. That's good for other things, especially escaping. But that'll come in handy for, like, things later. This is concentrated... I mean, this is a concentrated circle. You may rest safely in a tent or cottage or even save your game. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> so at this point, if you're doing this normally, yes, you want to do that. Because reasons. Okay. And a quick save just stops the game, but we're not going to do that. Yes. Leather cap. Now, we could have grinded for some cash and got everybody up, but we don't need to. I mean, we didn't really... We, it would have been the only way to get in cash anyway. Which I find useless. Third floor. Now, there's a secret right here. Yeah, you could take. Or you can go around. I suggest you go here first because, well, reasons. A tame bride store. That's good. Because if we don't, we won't be able to get to it. Now we've got to, we got to get out of here. Magic stick escaped. Wow, level three already. I haven't even done anything yet. Okay, so I will see you all in the next episode. And, uh, yeah, we'll take on this dude. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Until then, later.